Kona. How are you? <laughs> I think I'm in the cone zone, baby. Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Please don't get angry at me. Uh, let's go on. six foot seven, 757 pounds. Of all muscle. Yeah, of all muscle. All muscle. Yeah, you, you are sense. twice the size of the average sumo wrestler. The, so the average sumo wrestler that I've, you know, watched on, uh, you know, different clips, news clips, and things like that, you are twice the size of the average sumo wrestler. Yeah, well, I kind of use my size and my strength as my advantage as a wrestler because... Um, I hope so. Wrestlers, wrestlers <laughs> yeah. come in different shapes and sizes. Right, right. And, like, the, the little guys, they fight with such aggression and, and passion. That's what makes them great wrestlers. And as myself, my size, I try to utilize that to the best of my ability. But how do, uh, would a much smaller sumo wrestler have any chance against you? Don't they just bounce off you? For the most part, no, but there's, there's times because sumo, sumo is a fighting spirit. If they right. have the determination and the guts, then sometimes they can make it happen. Now, but, but not in your case. Oh, we'll find out, my friend. No chance. We will find no out. No chance, Conan. I might shock you, I might surprise you. I got a lot of muscle packed under this jacket's just barely holding me together right now. <laughs> but we'll get to that in a second. You to, you prefer to fight in the open weight division, which means that you can fight anyone of, of any size. Is that true? Yeah, for the amateur level, we have different weight classes. There's lightweight, middleweight, and heavyweight, but the right. open is all comers. Right. So I've fought guys from 145 pounds to 650 pounds. 145 pounds. 145 pounds. If, if a person Was, like, has Ryan Seacrest challenge you? Like, <laughs> 145, pounds? 145 pounds? I weigh more than that. That's ridiculous. That's insane. So, but, 100, so, so that's someone who's just speedy and, like, running around trying little tricks on you. Well, like, actually, Bee! he ran out the ring. Oh, he ran out of the ring. <laughs> yeah. Okay, that didn't last long. Tell me about the sumo diet. What is the average sumo wrestler eating? In Japan, they, they follow a, a strict thing of, like, eating chokanabi, which is a sumo stew. Sumo stew, what's in sumo stew? It consists of fish, chicken, beef, mixed over rice, and they eat a big vat of it. And then after that, they follow it with a bunch of beers, and then they take naps so it'll settle down on their stomachs. This sounds like a very good sport. That was... <laughs> I'm in training. I've got to eat a lot of stew, drink some beer, and then pass out. That sounds like a good... There's training involved in it afterwards, but... Right. That's for the most, that's their dietary. And what is your, do you eat that stew? What do you eat? No, I, I follow the, the great American diet. Wendy's, McDonald's, Burger King. <laughs> do they ask you if you want it supersized or they just go with the assumption? <laughs> they go with the assumption. Yeah, yeah I would think, yeah. Here are your small fries. Well, you didn't say. <laughs> uh, you are an amateur wrestler. Why didn't you decide not to, you, you didn't want to go pro? Why? Uh, there's a certain ritual that you have to follow. Like when you're a professional, you start on the bottom. Right. You're, 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 they pimp you around. You got to like wash up the older wrestlers. You got to comb their hair. You got to wash them. You got to wash their bodies and their colons and everything. So. No, seriously. Yeah, so if you're just... moving your way up the ladder in the professional world, you have to literally bathe the other sumo's bodies. Yeah, you, yeah, you basically get sumo bitched coming up there. <laughs> coming up there. I do not want to be sumo bitch, that's for sure. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a quick, let's do a demo right now. Let's go over here and do a demo. One of the exercises I'm gonna show you is like, before practice they have like a training session. And like the, the new wrestler has to warm up against the old wrestler. I just wet myself. <laughs> the first exercise. So first exercise is. It's called boots kari kego. You're gonna have to run into me and try to push me. That's your exercise. You get into. I run into you and try and. Well, no, you get down like this. Down like this. And you just run into me. <laughs> Which is all the push. <laughs> now push, push, push. Push, push, push. Ah! Ah! <laughs> No, I, just, I just relived two years of high school. <laughs> that would be like the initial exercise. Yeah, and you would yeah. do that for like an hour. Okay, so then what? Well, they would do the actual match. Okay. You, you would start on this side, face me. Okay. We'd bow. We'd bow. And then we'd come in, we squat. We'd go like this. This is to show the guys that you're fighting with no weapons. <laughs> <laughs> I could have something back here, but all right. We face each other, we come face to face. Okay. 
Then we squat down. This is the sumo stare down, where we're psyching each other out. <laughs> After this. If you laugh, does that mean I win? <laughs> Today it does, yeah. Today it does, all right. <laughs> <laughs> bitch. Uh... <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's forget about the whole bitch thing. <laughs> I'll be back over here. <laughs> okay. Uh, we, we put both hands down, put down okay. on the ground, and that's when the match starts. And what do we do with the match? What happens? I got to push you out, or you got to push me out. I'm not going anywhere. This is my... Put my uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> no, uh, this is my... Uh, this, I do not leave this circle. This is the cone zone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, just, yeah. <laughs> All right. I will be considered the winner. That was very close. It was. <laughs> well, at any point during the match, were you afraid? All the time. Right? All the time. <laughs> You're a good sport and a great liar. Thank you uh, very much. Everyone, give it up uh, for this time. That was amazing. Sumo East and West airs on the Independent Lens on PBS on June 8th. Many Yabra, thank you.